The gentleman will follow. To call a pyre salvation from sin. Captain! Report. The Novograd delegation is half a day's travel from here. They truly are Russian. Return to your what post. What of Novograd's yes, hierarch? What of him? Will he get his well-earned rest, or be sent straight to Dan Rua? At his age, the journey would be ill-advised and costly. This Imperial Major Shore is a Enough. Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Greetings. Ooh. Give me up.
Master Ort. Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. Thirty-eight and a half inch blade. Weight, just under forty ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. and justice. Debts, burdens, and encumbrances owed to any other Blackwell are hereby thought they'd stay here forever. <laughs> it means you must pay taxes to the noble Lord Dagwall. This Lord Dagwall? Who is he? Oh! Some relation of the noble. Yeah. How am I to? Work for us, the Black Ones would have sat here stunned. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. yours. A witcher's sword. A swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher.
Let's try it out then. of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand in their countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all the day. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Marians got their country back. And history, once again, proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, the year of Valdemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dull. Cyrilla, Fiona, Helen, Rihanna, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kaldir. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed and pass the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else.
I might believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dimwits. You were supposed to be somewhere? I was. Fine. Where will you meet? Near the Huntsman's Cottage. Old man always had a soft spot for me. He could sense I was a family man. A man of peace. Good nature, like himself. Would have never crossed his mind to disown me if it wasn't for that hag I call my sister. What's the name again? Count Julian Alfonso de Wet? Viscount Julian Alfred Pankratz de Lettenhove. <laughs> Don't believe me? Just watch. You'll wipe that doubting leer off your face when we go visit my estates. <laughs> You just invent this count bit. Quite the imagination for one who's sober. Geralt will vouch for me. Tell him, I've always said I'm a count. True, you have always said so. <laughs> just nobody's bothered to verify it. <laughs> What's with this count business all of a sudden? Well, when we finally leave this god's forsaken dung hole, I plan to reclaim my heritage, the titles and estates that are rightfully mine. for all these lands and titles. I'll take possession of them. Of course, there's also the issue of progeny. Is that so? Then you finally found a lassie worthy of the great dandelion. My dear friend and companion, why, my heart belongs to the one and only Priscilla, known also as Calinetta. Your heart's mate, too. But the rest of your anatomy? I resent the insinuation and hasten to remind you that you are talking to a Count. No need for the Count to get riled. Rather, you told us how your beloved is. Recovered, mostly. Even started singing again. Her voice is a little lower pitched, gravelly. Actually, sounds a little better. Thanks for helping back then, Geralt. Meant a lot, really. What are friends for? Give her my best. Don't worry, I will. Give her a kiss, even. A bit from you, mostly from me. I'm going rabbit hunting. Dandelion? Glad to have some rabbit stew. But freezing my ass off to amass the ingredients? Did not sign up for that. I'll gather the herbs. Spices. No stew is complete without some sun-drenched thyme and the aroma of rosemary. <laughs> the fields are covered with rosemary blooming like well just before you, aren't they? That's why I'll be gathering my herbs from the kitchen. Uh, so long. Get out, pal. Geralt? Yes? The Yoruga. Bring in milk guardians oh. to farm our land. Gotten cold. <laughs> hey! Bloody hell! Ow! Blowing ear pits! Help me! Out in a hunt, Master Witcher? Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round, visit us this eventide. Verk is baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if... As you will. You're always welcome. Oh. Well, um... He's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. Not up to hunting rabbits anymore? 
Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. Think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. Are you actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A royal griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morhen. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come! We were supposed to train today. Uh-huh. Tomorrow at sunup then? Work you hard like I did in the good old days. Probably been a while since anyone showed you just how much you still have to learn. Mm. <clears throat> Almost there. now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri! What? A hare faster. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry. Wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... It's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. Mm. Shame he didn't come along. He could use a bit of exertion. Huh. Ice shouldn't be too thick here. Uh-huh. How exactly do you plan to catch anything? See, I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Hmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No, we'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. Show you something. Witcher's trick, tough winters. Not terribly subtle, but effective. Mm-hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Well, why show it to me at all then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. All right. 
right, let's go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Belagarci. What? <laughs> Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Kaer Morhen and land a horse's back? Hmm. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. <laughs> you never gave me piggyback rides at Kaer Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> Had to wait till now to remind me. You've put on some weight since Kaer Morhen. Should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage, yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. That pendulum was a nightmare. How could I forget? Those months at Care Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. Almost managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long, argued really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters round forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. You could have told me, warned me. I wanted to, but I didn't know how. I've been happy here. I was afraid I'd ruin it. I wanted to make every minute count. So, back at the nest, that was about this. I didn't pry, didn't want to force you to tell me. Thought we had time, a lot more time. You make this choice on your own? If you mean to suggest Yennefer had anything to do with this, then the answer is no. Great, she even know? No, and I'd prefer she not get involved this time. I'll let you tell her that. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. Traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. You know where to find me. You can't possibly stay at Kaer Morhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. True. Remember what I taught you? 
never know. Could be useful there too. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novograd and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, the Marians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Emir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities. From her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, she had gained a sense of simple human decency. Few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. <laughs>